batteries as well. So I'm starting this video breakfast and then I'm going to show you the campsite. I've got the kettle on everybody. Oh, yummy. Cheers. I'm loving my breakfast, I have to say. Mmm. The noise in the background is the kettle back on because I'm going to boil some water up and just do my washing up out on my table. Um, I kind of like doing that rather than going down to the washing up facilities. I like kind of standing in the sunshine and just washing up from a bowl and keeping it simple again. <laughs> So makeup all done, washing up done. Now I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty and show you where I'm staying on the Isle of Wight and give you a nice little tour of this wonderful campsite called White Field Forest Touring Park. Postcode P033-1QL. So let's just look at a map of the Isle of Wight and I'll show you where Whitefield Forest Touring Park is located, it is there. You will see that I have done a video on Ride Pier and Ride is there. Osborne House is over there and I've done a video about Osborne House and that took about 20 minutes, half an hour to get to. Shanklin, I've done a little video on Shanklin and that's there and that took about um, 20 minutes half hour to get to. In the camper this is, this is driving. I also did a video on the needles which is over there. Oh, hold on, there. And that took an hour to get to and I followed the A3054 out to the needles. So the A3054 goes across the island there and also the, A, the A3055 goes down here and goes around the edge of the island. Isle of Wight Steam Railway is here and that only took about um, 15 minutes to get to, 20 minutes to get to, 15-20 minutes. Yeah, I haven't done Ventnor and I haven't done all this coastline. I'm going to have to come to the Isle of Wight again <laughs> to focus on the lovely beaches and the lovely coastal walks, um, especially on that um, southern coastline there. So you'll turn off the 3055 which is quite a busy road and you will go up there, up that little lane. Do not do as I did, which was, I didn't see that sign and I pulled into here. Does it look like a campsite, Teresa? And then of course I had a job to turn around. Anyway, I made my way up this lovely little lane and as you see, it's going through some lovely woodland. The campsite is set within this woodland and if you're lucky, well you don't have to be that lucky because there's quite a few of them. There are red squirrels and that definitely looks like the entrance of a campsite. If I just pan around here, there we go, up there, that's the cycle track and I cycled to Sea View along there and you just go straight and it takes about, oh was it about 15 minutes on the bike? So there's the office where you check in and also in there they do sell ice creams and bits and pieces, bits and pieces um, which is really useful. There's also a woodland walk that takes you more or less all around the edge of the campsite. There's a children's play area through the trees there. So there are these nature boards placed around the woodland. This one says watch out for the buzzard and the one the other side it says watch out for the sparrowhawk. What is wonderful about this woodland is that as you walk around it, you see the odd red squirrel. And there's one just in front of me now. So this wood goes all the way around the campsite. If you're looking for a woodland campsite with complete tranquility, then you may be disappointed. I have found that that road has not disturbed my stay at all. Um, it's not so intrusive that I think, oh my God, I'm near a road. 
and this lovely woodland walk is lovely Millie would have loved it and for those of you who um, have only just found my channel Millie was my Jack Russell and she died two years ago and I do miss her let's hope we see another squirrel They go so quickly. You see the odd dog bin conveniently placed, which is necessary. So I've done part of the woodland walk and now I'm going to take you to the shower area and washing up area and all that kind of practical stuff, which people always like to see. And I can tell you that they are immaculate at this site. As I walk around this site, everything is so spaced out. You don't feel um, things are all on top of you. You really don't. There's plenty of these water stations placed all around the site. So that's the showers and toilets and where you wash up and you can do some washing. Let me take you inside. So that's your washing area and ironing area. If you're that way inclined and you're gonna be doing that on your holiday. So as you can see, um, there are COVID rules in place, social distancing, you've got your hand sanitizer. And then when you walk in, It's all immaculately clean. You've got individual cubicles to do your makeup if you want privacy. Oh, there's me. Hello. <laughs> Load of showers here. All immaculately clean. You've got a stool there to put your kit, plenty of hooks, and it's a push button shower. Yes, they're push button showers, which can be a bit irritating sometimes. <laughs> Especially when you're washing your hair. <laughs> yeah, the water is so nice and hot. Everything is so immaculate in here. And um, yeah, I can't fault it to be There's honest. There's an area there where you can do your washing up. There's actually three family washrooms. A nice ramp there to go up for um, disabled. So that's a disabled shower room. And there's the men's shower area there. Um, obviously going to be similar to the ladies. And there's another area to wash up there. And as you can see, um, keeping the social distancing rules. And oh my goodness, there's a squirrel. There he is. Oh, he's so sweet. So from the shower block, this has been my little walk back to the camper. It's about 200 steps <laughs> back to the camper for me. <laughs> and I've seen a squirrel a couple of times, but obviously, no, he's not around and today. I pan around through there. You can see my camper. It is quite a bigger site than I would normally go to. But like I said, the pitches are ample. It all feels so beautifully laid out and spacious. You know, I don't feel that everyone's like on top of me. So all I can say is um, it's a great site. I've really enjoyed staying here. Um, and I would recommend this site. Um, the woodland is lovely. The fact that you can see squirrels is lovely. Um, you do, um, I do need to drive if I want to go further afield, like the beaches and things, they're all about 20 minutes away really. But um, it's, a great, it's a great site. And um, I, yes, thoroughly recommend it everybody. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed my little walk around Whitefield Forest um, Touring Park. I'm going to say bye-bye now and um, see you again on my next um, video. Bye-bye. Dream the world. Bye.